Hello, this is Mary Bush from Stampin' in the Sand. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have another super simple Sunday card project for you. It's a monochromatic card. This sample here is Tip Top Taupe, and it features our Tip Top Taupe Lovely Lace ribbon here. I also have a sample that I've made in classic black and white with the white satin ribbon. I think that looks very elegant. And I've used the Your In My Thoughts stamp that comes with the set, but you could easily swap that out for any sentiment. The stamp set we're using today is the Hostess Set Best Thoughts. If you haven't noticed this stamp set, it's, it's gorgeous. It's on page 180 of the annual catalog, and it's a Hostess exclusive set. So that means that it's only available to our hostesses. If you are a member of my hostess club or would like to become a member of my hostess club, then you can redeem your hostess benefits for this stamp set. Or if you place an order of $150 or more in retail product in my online store or directly with me, you can use your hostess benefits to purchase this stamp set. So let's get started making our card. Today, I'm going to actually bring in some fall colors. I created this sample quite a while ago and it's just been sitting on my desk waiting for a time for me to be able to create my video and, and publish it. So as time has gone by, we're now in fall and I think it's time to change up the colors a little bit. So I'm gonna be using Hello Honey. I have my Hello Honey Classic Stamping Pad Hello Honey is one of our current in colors. I love it. Fall colors are kind of my thing. And I also have some Hello Honey um, soft cotton ribbon here. This is our quilted cotton ribbon. It's actually in the clearance rack right now and you can get a whole entire roll of it. There's a lot of ribbon on this roll for $2.79. And I think this is going to look fabulous. It's it's warm and it gives you that sweater feeling. We're in September right now as I produce this video and the nights and days are getting a little bit cooler. So I'm going to try this ribbon on today's project and because I'm going with a fall theme and fall colors I have some very vanilla cardstock to do my stamping on. My two samples here were stamped on Whisper White but I want to warm it up a bit this time so I have some very vanilla. So let's move on. I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Up! envelope punch board to do my corner rounding. And I've mounted my floral image on my clear block. I'm going to ink that up in my Hello Honey. And I'm just going to stamp it, as you can see in my samples here, I'm going to stamp it from the lower left hand corner going diagonally up into my card front. Perfect placement is not necessary. Just get it close enough. And there's my flower. Then I'm going to come in with my sentiment And I'm going to use my Stamp-A-Majig because I'm anal. I admit it, I'm anal. And it needs to be perfectly straight or I'll go crazy. So I'm going to put this down in the lower corner. Get it about where I want it back in with my stamp -a jig Can't live without this stamp -a jig I must say. Best invention ever. Come down and up and there's my sentiment in the corner and believe it or not that's it. That's We're done with the stamping. So now I'm just going to come in with my ribbon. some off here. Kind of guesstimate how much I'm going to need. Cut some off. 
and I'm just going to tie a knot over to the left hand side. Now if you want thinner ribbon, because I'm noticing that this is a little bit thick, but if, if, I'm, if I'm going to hand deliver the card or put it in with a package or put it in with, say, some flowers for someone that hasn't been feeling well, it really won't matter that it's bulky. But if you want some thinner ribbon, we also have the Hello Honey Satin Stitched Ribbon currently in the clearance rack. This is $3.59 and you get quite a bit of ribbon on this spool as well. So that would probably tie a much tighter and not as bulky knot. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this over because I don't really want it that far towards the center. And I'm gonna get it about where I want it. Flip it over, come in with my dimensionals. Okay, and now I will just center it on the front of my card. And I think I'm actually going to bring in some glue dots because that ribbon is not laying as flat as I would like. All right, I think that looks pretty good. But I am gonna use one more little glue dot over here. So I left a little more play in that ribbon than I needed. Okay, so what are we gonna do on the inside of our card? I have a piece of card stock here. I have cut it three and three quarters by five. I rounded the bottom just like I did with my card base here. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to bring back in my flower image and I'm going to bring back in my Hello Honey ink. I'm going to, oops, I hope I'm not shaking the camera. I'm going to ink up my flower and on the inside, I'm going to stamp off the edge just a little bit and I'm going to come up from the left hand corner just as I did here. So start up from the edge, come up, and there's my flower. Then I'm going to come in with my fast fuse adhesive and I'm just going to put one run up across the top here, bring back in my card base, center it, and there you go. So there's the inside, and there's plenty of room here for me to write my message. Okay, so there you have it. Our super simple Sunday card is now complete, and I have three completely different yet equally as pretty samples here. So I hope you have enjoyed this super simple Sunday card. It was so quick and easy, and I hope that you will be inspired to create some for yourself, kind of mix up some of the colors a little bit. And if you do play along, please share with me your creations. I would love to see what kind of color combinations you come up with or what kind of monochromatic schemes you use. And please do come back and share those with me. I would really love to see them. So happy stamping, and I hope to stamp with you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.